say. It's going to the streets. Hey, y'all, it's revolution up in this bitch. Set the alarm. Get caught by. It's on, baby. Garden of Eden, Atlantis. All references to what we know as America. America, the Egypt before Egypt of Kemet or Mizraim. We're in the seventh cycle. Egypt of Kemet was of the sixth cycle. Atlantis and its ten islands with North America and South America is from the fifth cycle. When it sank, Africa was but an infant getting ready to come into the forefront of history. Emerald Tablets, Tablet 1. The land of the hairy barbarians is the land now known as Egypt. Kem was the first seat of learning established by the Atlanteans. From there, later they sent emissaries to other barbarous tribes in different parts of the Earth's surface. This was the plan mentioned to use Kem as the central home of the new race wisdom. Oriental masonry, prehistoric America was the original Egypt or the Eagle Land. America, Atlantis, already stretched in the unbroken line of the land from Nova Scotia to the far west. This was once a holy land and it has been defiled. Even Trans de Leon came looking for the so-called fountain of youth. The cleansing of the Lord's land, South land, has already been ordained and written to be purified of all those who are allotted specific pieces of land for their people and have taken land by force or trickery which is not theirs. They will be removed. Only those who cleave to the chosen will remain. But no, where, where, where is your proof that brown-eyed people are smarter than blue-eyed people? I tell you, mm-hmm. brown-eyed people. I'll be, you just listen. Now this is going to be a this going to be an effort it's for you. That's going to be an effort for you because you aren't accustomed to listening. White males are accustomed to telling things. They're accustomed to listening. Now brown-eyed people are responsible for the fact that you have electricity. All the many of the components for generating and transmitting electricity were invented by brown-eyed people. Brown-eyed people gave us our alphabet. Brown-eyed people gave us our numeration system. Brown-eyed people gave us the paper on which we write these anonymous letters to me that tell me that brown-eyed people are inferior. When you go home, you people do not pray to me for me, particularly you. Don't you pray for me? Because I don't have to worry about that. All of a sudden, you end up pray for me. Now, brown-eyed people are the ones who originated or who founded every major religion on this earth. No white people have ever founded a major religion. Now you need to realize the contributions that have been made to society, to civilization, by brown-eyed people, by people of color. I'm talking about people of color here, folks. And most of us are not aware of those things because we live in a racist society. And because we are educated by a racist school system that only teaches us about white contributions. And that's a fact. And if you don't like it, I'm sorry, but that's the way it is. If we would start telling the truth in schools, we would not have racism. We could cure racism in this country.